G'day guys, welcome back to Wombat Gaming. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the legendary Peacemaker spacesuit. And you can get it pretty early as well. You'll see that my character is level 24. And I'm sure you could probably do it earlier than this as well. It's just a location that you need to go to. So at the end of this quest, I will point out that this is a mission uh, or a quest that you can do. So this is a spoiler alert. If you want to do this yourself, then don't watch this video. But I'm going to be showing you how to re-roll the spacesuit at the when it's given to you to get the right stats that you want for it as well. So you can re-roll this particular spacesuit and get uh, better stats on it. So you can get some pretty trashy stats. I've done it a few times and it makes a big difference when you get the right stats on this particular spacesuit. So I will be showing you that through the video as well. So. Um, stay tuned, I will be cutting out as much of the running and uh, all that sort of fast traveling stuff so I will be trying to get this video down as fast as I can. But essentially at the end of this video you will have the legendary Peacemaker spacesuit, spacesuit of some description depending on what you want to do and reroll with it. You'll also get a pretty good advanced Peacemaker weapon. You'll also get the Peacemaker pack and helmet as well. They'll both be advanced though. So it's all really about getting the legendary version of the spacesuit to be honest. The stats on it are pretty good. So let's head on in. We are, I'll show you on the location Alright, so we are towards the kind of top right of the map. This is a level 40 system. Um, Ixil, I guess you could pronounce it. I'm not sure if that's the right way, but here's uh, Cheyenne. So it's only a few jumps from there. So we're going to this Ixil system. And when you get here, there is a planet to the right over here. So it's the number Ixil 2. And on this particular planet, there is a marker that says... Yeah, where are we? I've probably just gone straight past it. El Elios Retreat. The Elios Retreat. Okay, so this Elios Retreat is where you're going to be landing. And we are there now. And we're going to start this little mission. So there is a bit of dialogue through this one. So hang in there. No wonder no one will work for you. My man is missing and you're all just here what? Waiting for him to wander back through the gates? Unfortunately, can't skip through this, but we have a missing uh, man. But we don't have the manpower. And now half my crew thinks your little band of convicts is just waiting to drag us off and scrap us for organs. Mr. Halftown, our security... So what I'll do is I'll skip through all of this for you, so you guys can uh, run through this yourself. So, um, yeah, we'll jump through to the dialogue bit where I actually talk to uh, Sloan, and I'll, uh, we'll be there in a second. All right, you want to talk to Sloan once all that's happened. But you're welcome to rest so long as there's... And then now you just basically want to take the mission on board. There are a lot of options that you can do. You can ask her a lot of stuff, but you might be able to help with the missing person. Because I can't say it's going to... And you're going to bring him back, basically. So we're just going to skip through all this, and we're going to head off and find this person. All right, first we need to talk to the security officer that was injured. So we need to head into the main building for that one. We have to do a picnic here. Now there's a lot of stuff in this particular facility you can explore yourself. Alright, so we're going to be heading to a cave system now. So we're just going to head on out here. And when you get outside the door, you'll see there is a marker. Right, so the cave system is to the right you can see by the blue marker over there so we're going to jump to that particular spot and continue from there but i just basically head this way and just jump over this wall and head on through so we'll meet you there in a second okay we are at the cave system and we're going to head on in now just a little point out uh tip if you are a real low level this is a level 40 system so the enemies can be a little bit on the hard side now the main rewards at the end are pretty much going to be the suit and that's not really uh, determined until the very end anyway so I wouldn't bother with making sure that you're on extra hard at this particular point you play on whatever level you want and I will let you know towards the end when we are going to get the suit when you need to actually bump up your settings to extra high so we're just running through this cave system and there are obviously a few
of these, what are they, glow, glow hands or something. So we'll head on back through here. And this guy is off to the right here. And through this little cave here. A little bit of dialogue, and we're just telling him we're his friend, and we're going to take him back. So now we just need to head back to the uh, retreat, and then have a chat with Sloane again. So we'll uh, fast forward to there, but basically just heading back out of the cave and back to the retreat. So don't forget to use your fast travel when you get outside the cave. You can fast travel to the retreat rather than running all the way back. Now we're just waiting for the guy, Kilman, his name is, to come back and there'll be a little bit more dialogue. Alright, well, as soon as this is done, uh, we will have a chat to Sloane here and she will suggest us to go and talk to the security guard. She gives you some credits as well, which is pretty handy. And... Fine. I'm sure I... Now, Mr. Kilman... He did. It was a building. An old research... Here. All right, so she's giving us some coordinates. There's some credits for you, so that's not too bad. Now we're heading off to another location that we haven't discovered. It's basically back over the wall again, you can see in the distance. So we will rush over there and I will meet you there. All right, we're at the location and you can go down the front way. Uh, just be aware there are a couple of mines, so I prefer to just go over the top here. You're just looking for a doorway and this is just down the bottom here. There's a bit of stuff you can look around here. You probably have seen this point of interest on other uh, locations. So there's your mind over there. So pick that up if you want to. We're just going to head into this abandoned outpost. Now this outpost, instead of having you know, pirates or something, actually has robots. So just be aware of that. So you are a low level. Just be aware. And there are a lot of turrets in here as well. So we don't need to search the whole outpost, but there are a few robots on the way and a few turrets. So you can skip all these guys if you want to. And we're just heading down to the back of the facility. A few more robots. And just, as I said, lots of doors and things you can do and lots of crates. I won't open them and do anything. You can do that yourselves. But essentially, uh, that was the boss that was in here. Uh, when I did this on my higher level character, he was a captain and had three health bars. So it was a little bit tougher. So it does determine on your level, of course. This room has the main rewards chest. So always go into here and check this time. Nothing uh, really good at all. There's also a room in here with some stuff that if you want to unlock, there's usually a pretty good spacesuit in here and some bits and pieces. So always open that. And there's a chest, uh, sorry, a weapons case around the corner here. Sometimes you get, you know, lucky with this one as well. But depending on your level, of course, you may or may not want to pick that up. And um, so that's pretty much for this one. It's basically just telling you now to, that's right, we've got to pick up this slate, sorry, that's in here. It's called the uh, Corrupted Slate. So once you have picked that up, you're basically just heading back to talk to Sloane again, I believe. So I'll uh, meet you back there and um, you can explore this facility yourself. Um, it's got a lot of rooms and stuff, but you may have already been here before. So I'll leave that one to you. I'll see you back at the, the facility. Uh, before we do go, I will point out in this particular facility here, there is a locked door here. Don't go and open it. Uh, through there, there is some rooms and down back there, there is a 
a, a cell key that you can pick up and that will unlock it without having to use a digipick so i know it says expert lock but there are some guns and ammo and things in there so it's worth opening if you're a low level player uh, as a high level player i haven't gotten anything really good out of it so um i would probably just you know it's up to you it's free to open anyway if you go get the key but do not use your uh, you know digipick to open that or if you are not an expert lock pick um, you don't want to, you know, don't want to waste that digi pick. All right, so we'll head back to the location that we're going now, which is the retreat, and we'll see you back there. All right. Once we're uh, back at the retreat, I'm going to head back into the facility again. And back down to the medical section where they're all having a little bit of a meeting you seem to have weathered that trek well mm. a... and we're just giving them the slate now it's up to them to kind of decipher it there's some I can take a look. issues with it apparently all right so it's basically two bounty hunters that we need to go after all right, so I've skipped through all that, just uh, those dialogues you can go through yourself, but another 5,500 credits, which is pretty handy if you're a low-level player. And um, you've got two options here. You can talk to all the staff about the trackers, but to be honest, it's not really, you know, you don't get anything extra out of it. So you can just basically go straight ahead and confront the, the trackers. And it's back at this facility that we were just at. So when you do come out the main door, obviously we've been there before, so you just want to open up your scanner and we want to fast travel to that location. Okay, we are back at that location. Just remember that mine is still out here. I might as well just pick that up, actually. Where is it? It's... Uh, here it is. All right. And, yeah, head back in. Now, if you didn't clean it, clear out all the uh, robots the first time, just be aware of that. There may be still some floating around, but um, you could, they're usually in that side of, side of the wing if you haven't cleaned them out. So we're just going to head back down to the back where we were before. Now the trackers won't be here, it's going to ask you to wait for them. You can see down the back here there's just a seat, it's pretty quick though. And there you go, they're pretty much here so we're just going to get up and confront them now. Now it doesn't really matter what happens here, you can just attack them if you want to or you can try and persuade them depending on what you want to do. So we'll try and talk to them and persuade them on low, lower level here. These guys might be a little bit tougher. I know they're quite high level. So we'll try and persuade them and see how we go. And um, we need a five persuasion. No, six. So this is going to be pretty tough. Uh, we don't have, as a low level character, many points in this. So uh, we got through the first one okay, which is good. And we can just use the ones now if we feel lucky but um no not gonna work we got one turn left so we're just gonna have to take our luck all right looks like we're gonna have to battle them lucky i've got this pretty good big bang and like i said just play on the level that you're comfortable with all right well that was pretty easy although i am playing on uh normal for this particular video so I know we would play on the hardest level, but all right. So that's pretty much it for here. Uh, as I said, explore this place if you haven't already. And we're going to head back to see Sloan now. So we'll see you back there. We're nearly there. We're just going to go head back into the main building of the retreat. If you skip everything else, it's a pretty quick mission, this one. But obviously there are a lot of rooms and a lot of things you can do here. And as a low level player, it's probably worth having a look around. There are some things you'd probably need. As a high level player, I didn't find anything of real value here other than the quest itself. Um, so depending on your level, it may or may not be worthwhile checking everything out in this facility, in this area. So just bear that in mind. There you are. Hmm. This place, there is just... All right, so she gave me some more credits and now we want to talk to the main dude up here. Now it's really important this bit. Uh, in order to get this base suit, you need to select the right option here. So we'll help you out with that one. Ah, there you are. So, and we are exceed. It's just, luckily we have. Before she does, however, she's asked for the details of what. 
Is that something you might be amenable to? All right, so he wants us to go and talk to this lady. So we've got an option here. Um, I'd rather be on my way. We don't want to do that. We want to go and talk to her. So we'll just say that we're we're happy to talk to her. To hear. Head to Aquila City in the Cheyenne system. So he's basically sending us back to Aquila City. Uh, we've got that as a fast travel, so we don't need to go back to our ship. We can just do that from here. But um, yeah, definitely do that option where you want to chat to this lady. So we'll meet you at Aquila City and show you what to do next. All right, so once you're at Aquila City Spaceport, you kind of want to head up into that tower up there. The quickest way to get there, I've found, is just heading through here. Hanging a right. And just going up this way. And there's a guy on the door here. Now, uh, now it's important Come back some other time. that you select and have your settings on the highest difficulty level going into this section. So if you haven't done it by now, change it back to the highest difficulty level so you get the best armor. I don't know if that affects it or not, but it's worth changing it just in case anyway. I know some people say that it doesn't really matter and it probably doesn't but just change it just to make sure you are going to get the best armor possible hmm. i've got two rule number one rule two think you can abide all right so a little bit of dialogue there and then we're just going to head on in and talk to this lady you can go on up and she just wants you to basically sit down so now you may already know who I am and you I know all about I can't thank you enough for everything you've done for the retreat all right something I didn't do here was and I will sit up really quickly is we do need to do a quick save here so this is important if you want to re-roll the suit that she gives you so she is going to give you a legendary peacemaker space suit and the stats on that roll as she gives it to you so if you want to re-roll that it's important that at some stage before you finish the dialogue you do a quick save so we're going to do a quick save right now and we're going to sit back down and have a chat with her and finish the dialogue off looks like i need to initiate the contact with her again i didn't need to sit down so we'll <laughs> It's not really important what you select here. I've just selected the most obvious answers. Yes, Ms. Lance. But, but Nevin did say you. And I'm interested in this. So, yep, Battle of the Ages. She just well, um. I'm glad we lucked. She's happy. So only other. And this is pretty much the last bit of the dialogue. So make sure by this point in time you have actually changed it to that extra hard setting. And it's just saying it's unprotected, needs more security. After everything I've heard from you, it'll take time to get the right. But that should give me enough to present. Now, here. I want. All right, so now, there we go. She's given us a pretty good one, actually. So we I'm pretty ways. happy with this one. I'll go and show you um, what this That's one kind is. Of you. And this is one I probably help, wouldn't want to re-roll. I actually like the settings on this you one. My sincere so, so we'll have a look at that one now, and then I'll show you how to re-roll this as well. So the one that she gave us just there, you can see, has <clears throat> the Peacemaker perk is always going to be the first line. Rifles do 10% more damage, which is super handy if you're using a sniper rifle or you love using rifles. Uh, my characters, I love using the rifles. So that extra 10% damage is going to come in handy. And if you compare it to the one that I'm currently wearing, there's no extra stats on the Bounty Hunter suit. It is slightly better when it comes to physical damage and energy, etc. Uh, but it's not too bad. You can see the stats are pretty good. Now, um, on my level 90 character, I claimed this particular suit and the stats weren't much better, to be honest. So uh, physical on here is 105 on my level 90 character, I only got 121 um, and then so forth. 109, I got 125. And then for the EM, 113, I got 129 on my level 90 character. So not a lot of difference there. So this is a pretty good suit for a low level 
character so i would definitely recommend heading here and getting this early it's definitely one of my favorite suits it doesn't weigh a lot either you can see the mass on it is only 6.8 um, so anyway getting back to the stats on this particular one this one rolled at the chameleon which is really good blend into your environment i love that especially if you're doing a rifle sniper kind of build this one has a resource hauler which is pretty handy early on too so at resources weigh 25 percent less so if you are gathering and holding resources as a new player this is going to make it a lot less uh, you know a lot easier to carry now there are other uh things that you could probably get in that last section but um, that the stats aren't that great on some of them. So it's mainly the middle one that changes, uh, like there's been like anti-ballistic, uh, minus 15 incoming physical damage, um, things like that. So I'll re-roll this a couple of times and show you what we get. Essentially what you needed to do is we, I will save the game here just so I can keep that suit. So that's important too. Just remember that you want to uh, say hard save now. If you do think, oh, that suit I want to keep, don't reload that quick save and not do a hard save and think, oh, I probably did want to keep that one. So just bear that in mind. All right, so we've done a hard save just in case we want to keep that one. And now we're going to reload the quick save. Okay, so quick save reloaded. We'll have a rechat to this lady really again, and we'll just quickly go through all the now dialogue. I, that I need to tell. So if you don't, Lily here will be now. Good. Yes, Ms. Lane. But Nevin did. Say <laughs> I'm interested. All right, so a little bit more dialogue. Well, you I'm could probably save it closer to the end if you wanted to. Showing up. So only other thing I wanted to ask. All right, so this was the last one. What we could do is we could exit out here. I don't know about you. And then we could do our quick save here to make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to redo the quick save just here and show you that you can do it on the last dialogue. So we're going to have that last I'd love your opinion on, on that last one. Hopefully I'm protected. After everything I've heard, and take time to get the right. But that should give me an now here. I want All right, so this time we got uh, the bolstering grants, 100% energy brain. resistance, and I quite just quite didn't get the last one. So we'll That's jump back out and have a look at that one. Without, you have my sincere. And if we have a look at that one, so yeah, the 100% energy resistance, which is okay. I probably preferred the one that we got, the chameleon, to be honest. And it got the resource hauler again as well. Um, so we'll run that one more time just to show you there's, there's so many different combinations you can get but i just wanted to show you that you could get those things so we're reloading that quick save and of course we do have the hard save still if we wanted to keep that first suit so that's important that you do that hard save on any you. suit you want to keep i'd love your opinion after everything i've heard all right so time to, but that should give me enough to now here all right, so we got the anti-ballistic and the automatic. We Automatic's not too ways. bad. It just gives, yeah, you know, uh, we'll jump out and I'll show you what that one is. You got time for a quick chat? So the automatic, uh, essentially, when your health is below 25%, will will basically just use a, a med pack, which is super handy. Although I do have med packs already set up as a hotkey, so. Uh, to be honest, I probably wouldn't use that uh, this particular suit with that one. one. And the the anti ballistic isn't too bad. Uh, minus fifteen percent uh, incoming physical damage from ranged weapons only. Just bear that in mind. So again, getting back to that first suit, uh, having the uh, the uh, chameleon effect where you're blending into the environment. I, I think that as an early player is a much better stat, and that's commonly one I'd be re-rolling re towards. We already had that, so I'd just be reloading that hard save that I did and keeping that suit. But guys, that's uh, pretty much it. If you've got any questions about what I did in this particular video or have any comments or anything, yes, it was a speed run, so don't point out I missed this or missed that. Um, you know, take your time when you do this. I just wanted to show you guys the suit and where you could get it, how you can get it, and also the fact that you can re-roll what you get at the end. So if it was helpful in any way, please hit that like button and consider subscribing for all your Starfield content. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks again, guys.